Love is made complete. And that's what the idea of that word perfect is. It is made complete when it is demonstrated in our lives. You know, God did what he did. But that didn't perfect or complete love. Because agape love gives. And it's when it is received and carried on through the life of the one to whom it is given is when it really takes the whole circuit and it begins to be perfected. That's why it, it doesn't find a reservoir in you but a channel. Because it can't stop in you. What God gives you as a resource has to go on through you and touch other lives as well, and then it is perfected or made complete. And that's what John is saying. God gives a resource. He demonstrated it through what he did in sending his son. And now, when it is demonstrated, illustrated, lived out through your life, that's when the love of God is made perfect. When it lives through us and becomes a blessing in the lives of other folks. Let me close by sharing with you a story of a young man named Teddy Stallard. Teddy Stallard was, a, was an unattractive, unmotivated fifth grade boy. His teacher was a lady named Miss Thompson, Mrs. Thompson, and she found it difficult to like him because he had this deadpan, emotionless, expressionless, unfocused stare. And she had to admit that down deep inside she enjoyed getting out that red ink pen and marking on his paper, and she especially enjoyed making a special flare on those L's that she put on his paper. Well, being a teacher, she had the ability to look, look into his record of what he had done previously in elementary school, and as she did that, she came across some, some notes by former teachers. The first grade teacher wrote this. She wrote, Teddy shows promise with his work and attitude, but he has a poor home situation. The second grade teacher wrote, Teddy could do better. His mother is seriously ill and he receives little help at home. Third grade teacher wrote, Teddy is a good boy, but he's too serious. He's a slow learner. His mother died this year. The fourth grade teacher wrote, Teddy is very slow, but well behaved. His father shows no interest. Well, that Christmas, all the children in Miss Thompson's class brought her gifts and they gathered around as uh, kind of a, of a Christmas celebration, and different kids had brought in things that had a very pretty and attractive packaging. But Teddy had brought something that was in a very plain brown wrapper with uh, crude tape to try to, to hold it together. And as she opened different presents, she finally came to Teddy's, and she opened Teddy's up, and inside was a bracelet, a bracelet that had a lot of stones missing out of it, and then there was a bottle of very cheap perfume. Well, the other kids looked at this and they started to laugh. Yeah, but she tried to be nice. She put the bracelet on and she opened the perfume, put some on and said, you know, doesn't that smell lovely? Well, after class, Teddy waited around and he came up to her desk and this is what he said. He said, Miss Thompson, you smell just like my mother and her bracelet looks real pretty on you too. I'm glad that you liked my presence. Well, she went home, got on her knees and asked God's forgiveness for how she'd been treating that little boy. She came back the next day, and she says her class welcomed a brand new teacher. She was no longer just a teacher, but she had determined to be an agent of God in the lives of those kids. And she, she uh, committed herself to loving her children, especially Teddy Stallard. And Teddy reacted to that, showed dramatic improvement throughout the year. By the end of the year, he had caught up with most of the other kids in the class. But he graduated her class, and she didn't see him again for quite a while. Finally, she got a note from him, and this is what it said. It said, Dear Miss Thompson, I want you to know that I will be graduating second in my high school class. Love, Teddy Stallard. Four years later, she got another note. Dear Mrs. Stallard, Mrs. Thompson, they just told me I would be graduating first in my class. I wanted you to be the first to know the university has not been easy, but I liked it. Love, Teddy Stallard. And finally, she got this message. Dear Miss Thompson, as of today, I am Theodore Stallard, M.D. How about that? I wanted you to be the first to know. I'm getting married next month. I want you to come and sit where my mother would have sat if she were alive. You are my only family. Dad died last year. Love, Teddy Stallard. Well, she went to the wedding, and in Teddy's eyes, she had earned the right to sit in a very special...
special place because she had become an agent of God in the life of someone who desperately needed the love of God shown to them. And she had exercised that power of God's love. And because of that, because God's love had been perfected, made complete through her life, she had a very special place in the heart of another. And God will give you places like that in people's hearts as you allow His love to channel through you and to touch their lives. 1 Peter 4, 8 says this. It says, above all, above anything else that you do, is the way I read that. Above all, keep fervent in your love for one another. Would you bow with me?